down with Life Inside Out um, cast and team with uh, Jill, Maggie, and Tessa. So we talked about the film previously, and now I want to touch on the topic of indie filmmaking. Uh, in this, you know, in this case, it's super indie, and you did a lot of it on a shoestring budget, and you went through Kickstarter. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would like to know more about this and the process and how to work, how to work with you. Any recommendations of what you should and should not do from experience? Well, we started with Kickstarter uh, for many reasons. The, the great thing about doing a Kickstarter, first of all, is that when you create a Kickstarter, you have to identify a lot of things that are going to help you with your whole project. So you have to identify who's your audience, who wants to see your movie, what's going to appeal to them. So you start right away kind of making the film by doing that. And you have to do your video, you have to do a really good video, and maybe some supplementary videos. So that also is kind of helping you decide what, what is important about your film. Also, who's going to be your team? Exactly. If you use your team on your Kickstarter, you learn, oh, this works well, this doesn't work so well. So that's like one great reason to do, aside from the money, um, so we did it to get our seed money, our yeah. first chunk of money, and then that income helped us attract investors because investors looked at our Kickstarter and said, wow, I really like your Kickstarter. You guys did a great job. I believe you can make a good movie. And you have an audience. It's almost like a new way uh, to do a business plan. Isn't it interesting how like things have changed over the years? Mm -hmm. You're no longer showing this paper documentary proposal you're doing on Kickstarter. And for yeah. you, that work as well? And you like oh, yeah. I mean, the idea of not having to... We could have never had this movie greenlit from a studio. It's a small, intimate, little movie. And studios aren't making that kind of movie. And, and the budget is so minuscule as well. And, um, and so we put it out there to our friends and colleagues and, you know, the, the web itself that if you supported the Kickstarter campaign, you were greenlighting the movie. And that support would also show us that there was support for the story. And sure enough, we had almost 500 contributors, and we asked for 35,000 because we thought that would be enough of a base of money that we could get the movie started, and we wound up getting 41,000 on Kickstarter. Oh, that's good. But I will so say... the budget for the film then? Yeah. No, 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 the budget was higher than the budget for the film. Yeah. Okay. But, but it gave us the ability to, to go to people sort of with our heads up and like, hey, we got this, this, we yeah. got $40,000. People want to see the movie made. People really yeah. want to see it. Yeah. But I will say that you don't go into Kickstarter the, the one mistake people make generally is it's not free money. You're going to work for every penny you Absolutely. get. It's a full-time yeah. job running the Kickstarter, creating a good Kickstarter, the daily work of Kickstarter. For that time period, we picked 32 days. Anything around 30 days I think is good. Yeah. I think a Kickstarter is great if you have a goal. As some programs, you could do it without a you know, make I thought, or break. Isn't it like you have to have a goal and you have to meet that you goal? You have to meet it. Yes. And we that. actually liked that because we thought, what are we going to do with $5,000? Right, that's true. We wanted, and if you, on Kickstarter, you're saying, we're going to make this film for you. And so we thought the only way we can guarantee that is if we get at least this amount. But it is a full-time job every day writing to people. You know, you have to be really humble and really assertive at the same time, asking people for money to in help fund this in a nice <laughs> yeah. way. And have, have, have great rewards yeah. and do it with a sense of humor. You know, create Absolutely. your campaign really carefully. Look at a lot of, lot of campaigns. Don't don't throw it up there and think people are going to just throw their money at you. You have to you have to prove yourself to well, the audience is savvy. You know, yeah. like people yeah. out there who want to see the projects getting greenlit and even, you know, the moviegoers, you know, a lot of people want to see great stories. And the same thing with Kickstarter, I guess, you know, they're, they're not just out there throwing money around. No. They're savvy about it and they want to see what's going on. Yeah. So as a producer, budgeting and money, last um, bit of information from you. Well, it was interesting when we started the Kickstarter, uh, Jill said to me, okay, what's the least amount of money that we need to actually make the movie? <laughs> and I, I gave her a figure and she goes, there's no way we can raise that on, on Kickstarter. So then she said, okay, so what would it cost, what's it going to cost to feed people? <laughs> <laughs> That's so that's when we came up with the thirty-five thousand. You know, I said, okay, feed people plus transportation. You know, where do you? But um, you know, Kickstarter is great, but you really have to work it. I mean, it's not. You have to be really smart about it. Otherwise, we we got that money because we were very smart and because we were diligent. And yeah, just, and pick a number that you think you can realistic. actually achieve. Don't shoot for the sky if you don't actually have a way to get there. You know, good advice. <laughs> and the feeding people is true because I've done on, I've worked on some production as a producer. I think even if you can't, you know, pay them well, 
minimum SAG, whatever, feed them well. Yes. yes. You know, take care of your crew. And exactly. be grateful to them. Of course. Every day. They're the ones that, you know, the backbone of the build of the stuff. Oh, and definitely. They're the crew and the team. And yeah. They'll get your back always. So take care of them. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you soon. Thank you. Life yes. Inside Out. Whoa, whoa, whoa.